everyone, and welcome to San Antonio Monthly Magazine TV. Today is such an honor and a privilege to be right here celebrating Cinco de Mayo with... Pepe Serna. Pepe From Serna. Pepe Serna, Scarface, American Me, Car Wash, The Jerk, muchas películas. Muchas películas, qué honor y qué privilegio estar aquí en Bay Cinema celebrando el 5 de mayo. Quiero darle las gracias a este gran caballero. Daniel Ramos, the director and the producer of The Margarita Man. So thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate that. Es un honor, un privilegio estar aquí cubriendo la alfombra roja con estas, estas personas que en realidad han hecho un cambio en el mundo entero tras el cine. Cuéntame un poquito sobre la historia de esta película que estamos viendo esta noche, que se llama Margarita Man. Margarita Man. La idea fue de, de Danny, de, de, con su familia, eh, tenían esta historia y entonces la hicimos. Y, y uh, so we brought in Danny Trejo, you know, eight class actors and performers, and, and it's really fun. And it's really, a, a, and I've been working a lot in San Antonio with Aaron Lee Lopez, who wrote the script uh, for Danny. And it's just a, a collaboration. And, and that's the important thing of working with, with the people from San Antonio. Yo soy de Corpus, originally. So, but I come back every time I can to support the, the filmmakers here in San Antonio. That's what I love. I love the fact that you are from Corpus Christi. And what I most love about this movie is that it really put Texas in the map worldwide. Why? Because of the margaritas. Why are we famous for? We are famous for margaritas. We are famous for our culture. We are famous for our food. But if it wasn't for actors like you, we will not be in the map. How do you feel about that? I, I started acting when I was three. I knew I was an actor watching Pedro Infante, Jorge Negrete, and I've been doing it for 75 years. I'm 78, so, and, and I still have the energy I've always had since I was a kid. Pero soy pintor. If you go to pepecerna.net, you can order my new uh, memoir that's out, and my artwork, about the art, about it, the culture, and how creative we all are, and our mothers with the cooking, and decorating y todo. So you'll see a little clip of my memoir today, and you'll see that my house, me, my wife is gringa, but she's more Mexican than the Mexicans. I mean, our house is colorful. I know how you feel, because I'm married to a very good looking gringo. You know, I don't know, I, I don't know what is it about the gringo culture that we love, you know? Your wife is a gringa, my husband is a gringo, and you know what I most love about that is that they love our culture. Yeah. They love our culture, they respect us, and they just cannot get enough of us. No, they can't, huh? That's what I love about my husband. I keep him on his toes. Uh-huh, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. And my wife keeps me on mine, too. <laughs> Thank okay. you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being here. Thank you for flying in into San Antonio, supporting the red carpets today. That's right, that's right. Your it's legacy. Good to see you again. It's oh. been a couple of years, but... But I knew it. The minute I spotted it, I said, I remember you. Yes, yeah. yes, you remember me. You know, it's been such an honor. I've been right here in San Antonio for 36 years now, and I love what I do. I absolutely love what I do. And you know what? I decided to retire, moving forward, unveiling the beautiful stories for our new generation, our new generation to come, because the generation from you and the one to come is what keeps us alive. Well, that just tells me that San Antonio, Texas is rocking. Thank you so much for this wonderful interview. Thank you so Thank much you. for being here in San Antonio. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm right here with Anthony Guajardo. How are you today, Anthony? I'm um, doing great, doing great. Having a good time meeting everybody here. You know what I mean? So coming out here and actually talking to people, it's really nice. Feels good for the soul, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I'm a little recluse. Yeah, and then Paul here. Okay, this is Paul Matthew Lopez. And he is actually, have y'all, if you haven't seen Margarita Man yet, this guy is freaking hilarious, funniest guy on earth. And what was the Western that you did? Uh, we just <laughs> we just finished up um, answering my prayers. Um, but I play uh, Sergio the Campus Cop here, so it's a bit of comedy relief, a really silly character who's in love with this guy. Hi. And he considers him his very best friend in the whole world. Um, and I got to work with Barry Corbin. Obviously, we got to work with Danny Trejo, Jesse Borrego, Pepe Serna. Uh, some other greats, so it's really exciting. We're happy to be here. Great. Okay, so for how many years has Margarita Man been around? 
Uh, man, when did we come out? It, yeah, our release was like four years ago? It's about four years. About four years ago, we did our uh, cast and crew uh, screening. And then from there, COVID hit, of course. Thank you so much, COVID. And then from there, I mean, it was just a huge delay after that. But, you know, finally, the you know, public can see it. And if you can't uh, come down and watch it here, then you can always uh, check it out on Amazon. Oh, yeah. No, honestly, I am so happy. I mean, this turnout here is amazing. And it's just great to feel all the support and all the love from the community. You know what I mean? Uh, and it makes us want, I don't know, it just makes me want to do even more and film more and make more movies because I know that the people here are going to, you know, support us and our locals and our family. It, it's amazing. It's a great feeling. Well, one thing that I know that San Antonio and the entire Texas has is great producers, great writers, and great filmmakers. That's right. So what do you uh, think about continuing filming right here in Texas? Oh, we have to. We have to do it, you know. Um, with that, I mean, not enough people are making films here. It brings money to the community. It puts it back in. And on that, it also helps all of our creative, you know, our, our young artists out there. It really brings them out, gives them the confidence to, you know, to know I can do it. If I just follow my dreams, I try, do my best, I can do it. And if I may, uh, you know, it brings exposure to the city. We use the landmarks. We use the town. We get permits. We, we put it back in our taxes. So all I have to say is make film in Texas. Film in Texas. Make film in Texas it is. Thank you so much for your wonderful support and thank you for creating wonderful stories and making history. Thank you. Thank you. Right here with Katarina Roscasti. How are you today? I'm very good. How are you? Beautiful, beautiful. Look at tonight. Tonight is rocking right here for Cinco de Mayo. So who do you have right next to you? This is the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Aaron Lopez. Hi, how are you? Well, I'm doing so uh, much better now that I'm getting to interview you. How are you? How do you feel tonight? Well, I'm excited, you know, because we get to watch the movie on the big screen. And um, this is something that I wrote uh, for my buddy Danny Ramos. And I'm really excited that he's getting to show it to the world. And working with Katarina, which we've done several movies together, it's been very exciting. All right. So tell me a little bit about your experience filming this movie. So I was 15. Um, so I was quite young and it was very like a new experience for me and it was really really fun and I enjoyed every minute of it and I just got to really express my creativity and just have a good time on the film and Aaron was just really welcoming and great to work with and it was awesome it was it was really awesome okay what would your advice be for all the beautiful young actress actors that would like to get in the film industry don't give up there's a lot of rejection um, you know, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that you're not talented or that you're not good enough. Um, just keep pursuing it and um, have fun. Have fun. What would your advice be? Um, yeah, just enjoy it and go out and make movies. That's go out and make movies. All right, so what is your next step? Uh, but for me, I just constantly write. I write every day, so that's all I do. So I just keep writing and keep making movies and you know, and just enjoy the process. Well, we cannot do it with people like you. It takes a great writer, a great creator, and somebody that's always thinking and how to make the film industry better. So we cannot do without people like you. We cannot do without actresses like you. Thank you so much. for. I'm right here with Destiny Baldwin. How are you? Hi, I'm doing amazing. How do you feel? Great. I'm excited. You look very beautiful. So tell us, what do you have right next to you? So this is Pepe, Pepe Serna. We have a good scene in here together. And she has been serving our country in the Air Force. Yeah. And I'm also a flight attendant now, so I'm just all over the place. <laughs> well, you're very beautiful. I understand that you are a part of this movie. Yes, I am. What part do you play? So I play technically Miss Biology. Miss so Bi it should be chemistry, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, Veronica. Veronica's the name, but we go. We're gonna say Miss Biology. Okay, so you're the wife. Soon to be. No. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's a long story. You'll see it in the movie. Okay, so I also produced this movie, and um, I play a frat guy named Zach, who just goes around causing havoc, because you're just like picking on like people like Pepe. Yeah. And uh, Margarita Man. Thank you so much for doing Thank our interview you. and everything. Absolutely. Thank you. Right here with Gay Cuevas. How are you today? I'm doing very well. Thank you. 
All right, so I understand that you are a big, big part of everything that's happening right here in the heart of San Antonio, Texas with a gallery. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, we have a gallery that's currently in a town called Portland, Texas, and we are moving to, we are moving the La Cueva Gallery to San Antonio, and we are expanding, and so I'm very happy to say that we have Pepe Serna's artwork, and we are going to be showcasing his art and also some of his movie posters and all the work that he has done. Uh, he had uh, uh, premiered his uh, film Life is Art, and we did that in April last April, year. Yeah, April last year, wow. And her husband is an incredible uh, artist. He's from San Antonio. Yes. Cla class Edgewood class of 1969 his name is Gilbert Cuevas and we're real proud of him but uh, I'm just happy to be here tonight and I thank Pepe for inviting us but I will tell you that this man is an incredible person he's not only done incredible things with children and the youth of just people aspiring to be actors to uh, giving them hope in whatever they strive to do in their life. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. We are definitely going to get a VIP invitation. Absolutely. And I will be there covering your red carpet for you, knowing the fact that we have all of the history for, from Pepe. Yes, yes. yes. And, and she's married to a gringo. Gil is married to a gringa. I'm married <laughs> to a gringa. So it's all about mixing it all up. But we have a museum right here in beautiful San Antonio called Sam Sad San Antonio. And we support education with science and technology. Oh, my goodness. So we definitely want to pair up with that. Right here with Kiki Sui. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you. How do you feel tonight? Um, it's amazing to be here, especially for Danny and uh, Cinco de Mayo. We are here with amazing stars of Margarita Man, and it's, it's a blast. It's an honor to have you right here in the red carpet. I'm here supporting. We're going to be doing part two, hopefully, so we'll be doing that as well. Wonderful. Okay, so do you live here in San Antonio? Where do you live? I'm here in San Antonio, but originally from Hawaii. Wow, so you are from Hawaii. That's why your name is so unique. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So how do you feel about seeing all these hundreds and hundreds of people right here behind the red carpet? It's amazing. Um, I've been on... 42 films and um, every time that I hit the red carpet it's an amazing experience and you meet very very talented people. Very very talented people well thank you so much for always making a difference in our community being right here supporting the film industry. How do you feel about the film industry right here in Texas? It's underlooked and San Antonio is growing. We have a lot of amazing talent here in San Antonio and I'm looking forward for y'all to seeing these new films coming out. We have the oldest posse coming out from Not So Sane Entertainment. That'll be out very, very soon. And you can also see Last Radio Call. That's on Tubi, Apple TV, and Amazon. And Amazon. Thank you so much for giving me a few minutes. Thank you so much. I'm right here with my beautiful Janie Victoria Flores. How are you today? I'm amazing. Lorena, how are you? Yes. All right. So who is a gorgeous man right next to you? This is Elmo Ramos. But Elmo, everybody knows Elmo. He's a pianist, actor, hairstylist, everything. I love Elmo. I've been in San Antonio for 36 years. In every event I'm at, he's there. So he is one of the biggest supporters of the community. How do you feel tonight? I feel fantastic. Uh, actually, I've worked on this movie as a hairdresser. My son actually has a role in this, a small role. He plays one of the teenage uh, uh, actors in it. I see you everywhere. I mean, how do you do it? What's the key to your success? Scheduling. <laughs> I schedule weeks in advance, see what's going on, and then I make sure I have time to be able to attend the events as well. Elmo has done the hair, the makeup. I mean, he pretty much puts on red carpets for the big names. He travels the world. He supports the community, and he looks like he's chasing me around. <laughs> <laughs> because I see him <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere I go, he's like right there. Um, I write music for film. I do a still photography film. I'm an actor, and I do hair for film. She's a singer. She's a model, and she's an actress. So she does multiple things about. And because of that, we we kind of are connected in different ways. Well, I want to see you in the big picture, Janie. It is time. 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Big projects take a little more time than we'd like, but we'll get there. We'll be there. We'll be there one day. Yes. Sometimes a slow pace is the safe pace. Exactly. Well, thank you, Lorena. I love you, and I love all my Galdinas senoritas. Right here with my beautiful Brandy Lopez. How are you, Brandy? Hi, I'm doing wonderful. It's great to see you here. I am so excited. When they told me you were going to be here, I said, oh, Lorena Monroe. That's the woman that does the red carpet for us. I am so proud of Brandy Lopez because you have made such a history in San Antonio with the film industry. So tell me a little bit about this film tonight. Well, tonight it's the Margarita Man. You know, they, it's been, you know, they showed the movie some couple of years back, but bringing it to the big screen again is something very special, very big for Danny Ramos, for David Reyes, for Aaron Lopez Mud Productions, and the whole crew and the actors, San Antonio. That's what Brandy is all about. You are about the community. You are about supporting. And I've met her 35 years ago covering red carpets for the Tejanos. Yes, I had my TV show, Tejano Classic TV. And then you were doing Bailando por Pasión. And, and she covered all my red carpets with Bailando por Pasión, Dancing for Passion, back in the 90s. Yes, that was so amazing. We really had a great time. And then... You know, the cause, why you did it, it was just so beautiful. And here we are. Todavía estamos aquí and we're not going nowhere. We're not going nowhere. That's right. We are right here supporting the film industry. We are rocking right here in the beautiful San Antonio, Texas. Texas is being on the map because everybody wants to film in Texas. In Texas, you know, we're, uh, we just finished filming a movie. I played one of the lead roles along with Bert Lopez and uh, one of our young actresses from Houston, Texas, uh, Tamales Season. So we finished filming just a few weeks ago. And I was supposed to go to Chicago because we're working on a big major movie with uh, Jennifer Lopez, Terrence Howard, and Vicente Fox. I mean, it's going to be amazing. So we're hoping to bring it to San Antonio. And then, of course, my agent, my publicist, who's here tonight, David Reyes, just had me do an interview, a commercial for uh, tequila and rum company so we just did that so I've been busy I stay well I love you and I love what you do and most of all what I most love about this woman is that she's very humble and she is right here for us anytime we need her I'm proud of you amiga yes yes and you know I dedicate everything that I do to my son who's up in heaven right now Eric for you my big angel that's right a big angel I love you amiga gracias love you too it's great to see you Ay, que lindo. Beautiful Deanne. Who is Deanne? Well, Deanne has a nonprofit organization right here in the heart of San Antonio. Tell us about your nonprofit organization. My nonprofit organization is Beautiful Boss Babes. It's here in San Antonio. What we do is we travel the world and uh, we take coats and blankets to young ladies in different countries. And we also inspire a new generation of young entrepreneurs. Man. I'm so excited about tonight. I'm so excited to see the Margarita Man, and we can't wait. We're so glad that it came to San Antonio. Thank you so much for being right here in the red carpet, supporting our beautiful community in the heart of San Antonio. Right here with Jocelyn Duncan. How are you today? I am great. I'm so excited to be here to see Margarita Man. I understand that you rock real estate right here in San Antonio. Tell me about I that. I do. I'm selling in all of San Antonio. I'm selling in Bernie as well, all the surrounding counties, and all the way up to Austin and even in Houston. And I'm representing DOS real estate right now. Wow. Well, I got to tell you, my friend, I'm so proud of you. You look so beautiful. Thank you so and much, thank you for Lorena. being right here tonight supporting Margarita Man. And I'm so glad to meet you. I've, I've, been a, I've been a great fan of yours. Well, thank you, my beautiful lady. And I saw you. You were live. And thank you for supporting the red carpet. And thank you for celebrating the Cinco de Mayo. And I want to thank everybody and our entire community of San Antonio for supporting the Margarita Man tonight. And thank you, San Antonio Monthly Magazine, for letting Lorena Monroe be your voice for the community. Hasta la vista.